An Israeli border guard has had his prison sentence doubled to 18 months over the death of an unarmed 17-year-old Palestinian during a protest. The incident happened four years ago, and video released subsequently showed that the teenager posed no immediate threat. The original charge of manslaughter was reduced to death through negligence after a plea deal in which the Israeli guard admitted to accidentally using live rounds. Four months ago, he was jailed for nine months, which is at the lower end of the punishment term for such a crime. He was also ordered to pay $14,000 to the victim's family. Israel insisted that the boy and others had thrown rocks at the border guards four minutes before he was shot. The officer claimed he thought he'd loaded his rifle with rubber bullets, but it was actually live ammunition. The Palestine Liberation Organization described the initial sentence as unjust and part of a pattern of discrimination. Such a conviction represents Israel's deliberate dehumanization of its Palestinian victims, primarily children, which is the outcome of decades of the military occupation that holds an entire nation under captivity and employs an unremitting and lethal shoot-to-kill policy against Palestinians. When it uh, comes down to the courts, uh, they always find ways uh, to pass uh, more lenient uh, sentences. They find uh, mitigating circumstances. Uh, and of course, one can always uh, find such uh, circumstances. The um, accumulated uh, effect of uh, all of these incidents is that there is no deterrence against uh, the next uh, shooter the next uh, soldier who uh, either innocently or not so innocently will uh, discharge his weapon at uh, a demonstrator.